Hey, what's up guys? This is Sean from Wayback Arcades and we are coming at you with another live stream of Final Fight on our triple-sided uh, tilt-top cocktail table. And we've got a new little wrinkle for you this time. If you can uh, see my hand, we've set up a, another camera so you can actually see the actual machine itself. Now we still have the overhead joystick cam and you're going to see that while we play. But we figured, you know, if you're trying to figure out like what kind of machine to get, it's obviously helpful to see what it looks like when you're playing and, and going through you know the game. So I'm gonna narrate the game as I play Final Fight, give you a little background story on it, but so you'll be able to see the gameplay. But also we're gonna switch back and forth so you can actually see what the game looks like from a different angle. So we're always trying to give you a, a little better um, uh, experience. So let's go ahead and get this. I'm gonna do a couple credits because I'm gonna play one player. We're gonna do Mike Hager. <clears throat> and a little backstory with uh, Final Fight. Um, this is the game that saved Capcom from going bankrupt. So they had released the original Street Fighter before this game, and it wasn't really a hit. It just did. It's hard to imagine the Street Fighter franchise not being just like an, uh, just a huge hit originally, but it was. It wasn't. It just wasn't really big. And so the lead programmer at Capcom uh, was really tasked us like please save his company <laughs> and so what he did is he basically looked at what what's the most popular game at the time and the most popular game at the time when this came out in the late 80s was Double Dragon the Double Dragon series uh, the first one and the second one which we uh, also live streamed on this uh, on this channel and so what they did is they came up with Final Fight it was a huge success people really liked this particular character Mike Hager um, because he'll do one particular move, which you'll see, that's going to look really, really familiar to you if you're a Street Fighter 2 fan. Um, and from there, then they did a, another Street Fighter game, but they included these types of moves, and it took off. And that's kind of the history, uh, you know, kind of writes itself after that. Um, you know, just another programming note, uh, if you are following us on Facebook and you have not followed or liked our page, please do. Uh, if you love these kind of streams, we definitely do them almost every uh, night at 8 o'clock Eastern. Ah, I caught him this time. Um, if you're following us on YouTube, and I'll, let's, here's the move I'm talking about, if they give me just a minute to breathe. <laughs> They're not going to. Um, there we go. It's You probably remember the Zangief character from uh, Street Fighter 2 with that kind of helicopter uh, move, and that's where they that's where they just brought it over from the other, from this game. Uh, if you're on YouTube, uh, please like this video and subscribe to our channel uh, for the same reasons. Um, we're going to give you all kinds of different looks with uh, different machines. We have a stand-up machine that you can definitely check out. Um, but um, for right now, we're going to go ahead and do a little gameplay and enjoy. One thing I always try to do uh, with these types of games is try to just keep these guys, <laughs> you can, it's not always possible, but try to keep them on the same, you know, like in front of you, you know, try not to let them get behind you because then it gets really tough. The, this, the helicopter movie does is great, but it also uses up uh, health, so you have to be real, real careful with that. All right, that's the first round. And a little bit about this machine, um, you know, I told you that it was a tilt-top uh, cocktail table. What you're seeing here is the 32-inch uh, screen version. It's an LCD screen. Uh, it's you get really crystal clear, bit, you know, uh, video on it. Um, it has this particular model. Um, base model comes with 3,500 games. This particular model, I uh, upgraded. Um, it's an upgraded model that has 4,500 games. Basically, the difference is, is if you really, really love uh, fighting games or games like this, the 4,500 model is really great. Um, so it's not an absolute, but I think it's good if you like to play a, a variety of fighting games, for sure. Uh, 
Oh, man. Yeah, I hate using that move too much. Um, also, you know, at the base, it's hard, a little hard to see from uh, the camera, but there's two premium speakers at the bottom. Um, each side has a trackball, so these two sides um, here and here have a trackball. Um, those, those sides play the traditional cocktail table uh, games, which we're actually going to demo uh, very soon. Uh, if you check our Facebook page, we have a, a schedule up there for that. And then you can play three different modes. You can play, you know, like a traditional cocktail. You can play this game with the screen flat or games like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter 2. And then, of course, the, the tilt screen. I particularly love the tilt screen. Um, it just visually is just awesome. It's really easy on your eyes. You, know, you can sit close without, you know, kind of straining your eyes at all. So my particular favorite. Um, and then what you notice, you'll probably notice around the edges is this is a custom... Um, rack and when you purchase one of these uh, machines from us you automatically get a custom wrap um, on, on the house and it'll look you know this is a cover that's uh, kind of a riff off the NHL Sega Genesis NHL 94 uh, cover art um, but you can make it look whatever you want like uh, some people it's their business some people it's their family portrait favorite baseball team football team um, favorite game characters, movie characters. I know one real popular one is, uh, you know, the, some cover art for the go movie The Goonies, but it can look like whatever you want. And we give you unlimited revisions. We do not, sh you know, we don't ship this thing out until you're 100% happy with it. So, um, you know, the last guy that bought, he did three revisions, but, you know, hey, but we got the revisions back to him very, very quickly. Um, a lot of people ask what the shipping times are. We always quote three to four weeks, but honestly, our last guy got his out in less than three weeks, um, so it's very doable to get it out quickly. We have these in stock. Um, I know that's always been a problem since uh, COVID <laughs> has been a thing in our lives, so uh, no, no worries with that. Um, other things you can do with these these games, they do have ports for uh, things like um, uh, light guns. Uh, so if you want to play a little duck hunt or you know, some first-person shooter games like uh, Lethal Enforcers is really a very popular game. Um, it's totally doable. This health. And uh, almost to the end boss, who's it's really going to munch some quarters. Um, and <laughs> ironically enough, when I say munch quarters, this thing can take quarters. Like, so if you have, like, you know, your kids bring over their friends and you want to make a little money off them, you know, it's totally, <laughs> totally doable. It takes quarters. Um, but it's it set, you know, the, the base setting is free play, so, um, oh, trying to get that elf. I will just tell you this game is a whole lot easier when you have, uh, two players. Um, and it's one of the best end screens of all time. So, all right. Let's keep going. We're going to probably do like a half hour um, just so you can get a real good glimpse, you know, good feel for this game. Um, again, one of my favorites. A lot of fun. Um, just a good old beat em up game. There we go. Take that Andre the Giant with the whiskey. That's food, by the way. Nope, this guy's tough. Comes at you with a katana, then you can bowl you over with a running, kind of a running charge. Yeah. That's what it does, and it does damage. So you have to kind of, you, 
just have to try to anticipate when this guy's gonna do that. Like that. That's or if you can just dodge him that way. Get it. Oh. Suplex is gonna hurt. I'll take I'll take a trade. Ah. Oh. I was hoping to be able to come you come at him at an angle and, and then uh, crush him that way, but it's okay. There we go. And if, for you Street Fighter 2 fans, this will probably look really, really familiar. Um, where this is this is the car scene that you uh, the bonus round have to beat a couple guys. Easiest way to deal with these guys, like I said, just get them on, get them in front of you, you know, and then just get them in a spot where you can just keep hammering at them. And once they get, on, you know, once they get on each side, it gets really, really tricky. You're gonna take some damage. Not too bad on that one. Oh, 
jeez. Oh, <laughs> had the whole cast and crew out there. <laughs> oh, man. This guy is kind of a mess. This guy can do just really mess you up. You have to be really careful. Um, won't always take him at an angle, uh, just like with all the other guys. What makes it tricky, what makes him tricky is he can shoot you, which sucks, because it does a ton of damage. Um, but then you have, you know, the whole cast and crew of, uh, like, I don't know, the Batman movies or something, you know, coming at you at the same time. See what I mean? Yeah, he pulls out, pulls out that gun and it's just, you gotta try to close the gap with him. Oh, yeah. It's... Now, he doesn't, he, he doesn't take a lot of, you know, you don't have to do a ton of hits on him to actually, you know, take him out. But it's just, it's, and he's not really all that difficult except for, you know, um, he, got, he, he has all his cronies come out and sometimes he shoots his own guys, which is actually helpful. This is where this is where he, he gets he's really he's really tough. Um, you just got to get your you know you can see he's almost out of out of life. He's just trying to get a get a hold of him. One thing, um, there you go. That's what you got to kind of do. Just try to find a weapon. All right, we'll play this last. Uh, Last level here. Um, again, this is really just for, you know, not to show you what a great game player I am, but really just to show you what a great game this is and what a great machine this is. Um, so, you know, again, if you have any questions, if you catch this, uh, catch this, you know, catch it uh, recording, sorry, um, you know, definitely feel free to uh, leave us, you know, comments or questions. We, we will definitely respond to them. Um, oh man, this game's so fun. I, uh, Except this part. <laughs> it just gets, it's a little toasty. Um, it's all right, though. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. They got to deal with it, too. I wanted to do the jumping pile driver, but let's time that thing.
this is the elevator. Or the lift. Yeah. And this is where these dude, this guy starts dropping grenades. So it just adds a little thing you just gotta be aware of. Sometimes it do some helpful stuff like drop some weapons. <clears throat> oh. Start that up. Camera. Here we go. That's right, blow yourself up. All right, guys, so that's, uh, that's Final Fight. And for, again, thank you for showing up and checking out our uh, live stream or checking out the recording of it. We'll be back at you again tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, we appreciate you. And if you have any questions about the games, we'll leave links in the uh, Facebook uh, post and in the YouTube description. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you.